Hi guys, welcome back. As I said yesterday, um, I was getting my Tesco shop today and I'm also gonna go to the butchers very soon. So before I go to the butchers, I'm just gonna quickly show you my Tesco shop because there is some frozen things here. Um, and um, and then I'll see it when I get to my butchery um, shop. I will show you that later. So that's fine to having a drink. Um, the shopping today is based on a menu that I've already um, written down for the week ahead. I think I said yesterday my husband's going to be preparing food for me. Um, so I'm going to give him a list of what I want to eat and when I want to eat it. And actually, it makes um, shopping cheaper because when you have a set menu, you don't have so much waste. So I've got my little slim book, which I showed you the other day. And um, let me just show you what I've said I'm going to have this week. I've got to find a page now. Um, should be more organised, shouldn't I? Right, so I've already written down the menus. So um, the plan is we're going to have Indian shepherd's pie one day, pork goulash, um, chicken Kiev, a Chinese chicken curry and prawn risotto. So that takes us from Monday through to Friday. And then obviously I need things for in the week um, for my lunches. So today's... Um, shopping is purely around that and all those recipes are from this month's Slim World magazine so it's going to be easy peasy for hubby to um, prepare for me because i'll just put the page out for him in the morning and he'll know no, he will know what i want to prepare what well, that doesn't make sense what i want him to prepare i've had a drink honestly it's sunday at 11 32 i think it'd be a little bit excessive to have had a drink by now don't you so let me show you uh, our shopping. Hold on two seconds. Right, I'm gonna show you these two first. Um, I'm going to France for dinner tonight. I'm gonna drive, so I'm not drinking, but I am gonna take her some uh, Prosecco because I know she likes it, so thank you. This will be for me for next weekend now because um, I'm not gonna drink during the week. And obviously it's Slim Lime Wine, uh, which is only three and a half sins, guys, for one, two, five. Um, glass so it's brilliant and I love it. They've only got the pink at the moment in Sainsbury's, uh, sorry not in Sainsbury's, Tesco's rather um, but I don't mind, I like both of them. So shopping wise, um, vegetables, I've got some carrots, I've got some red onions, a butternut, um, I've got some peppers, celeriac, um, satsumas and bananas are going to be for my lunchbox in the week and same for the tomatoes. Um, I've got eggs, I always have eggs don't I and actually I'm going to do um, my Mediterranean egg muffins later on today so you better um, subscribe to my channel and click notifications if you want to see what I do for that um, again um, I think the butter beans are for one of the recipes I'm going to do but the others I just thought would be great to have in my salads just to give me a bit of variety um, so I've also bought some black beans and some black eyed beans as well Baked beans because they're a staple in my cupboard, I have to have these. Squash because we always have squash every night when we go to bed. And again, sweet corn is to go in salads just to give it a bit of variety. Tin tomatoes, I think one of the recipes needs tin tomatoes, but the rest is because I always keep them in the cupboard anyway. Um, Greek yogurt, full fat for hubby for breakfast in the week. And then the fat free for me. So yeah, so both fat free. Uh, laughing cow light triangles for the chicken kiev recipe <coughs> and you can have i think about five of those or something ridiculous um, as you have the extra a so yeah you don't need to worry about sins for that um i've got three lots of frozen fruit here so i've got two summer fruit and one mixed fruit and they're going to be for my breakfast so i can have my overnight oats um, and things like that for breakfast because i do love them and garden peas is for one of the recipes for in the week Beetroot is for the pork goulash. Yes, I've never done it with beetroot before, so um, yeah, hope it's going to enjoy peeling those and preparing them for me, aren't they? Um, the leeks, again, will be for when the recipe is well, always for recipes, don't want to keep saying that. Um, so leeks, mushrooms, some um, spinach, oh, I can think of what it's called then. I've got some salmon, it's not one of the things I'm going to do this week, but I want it in the freezer so that when I do want a piece of salmon, I can have it. And then the green beans and broccoli. So yes, yeah, so that is my um, Tesco food shop. I just need the meat now to go with it. And I have made myself a little list. Um, whether I end up buying more, I don't know. So, right, I'm going to pack all this away and then I'm going to pop to the butchers and I will fill you in on my butchery. This all costs, by the way, £48 and that included the Slimline one, which is £8 and I think the Prosecco was on offer this week. Let me just find out. I've got my little 
price list here alcohol yeah so it's on offer at six pounds actually it was reduced so after my 48 pound um 14 pound 50 of that um is an alcohol so actually it only cost 34 pound for all of that and that will last more than the week uh, especially the tins and things like that so and summer's going to the freezer as well so guys sling world isn't expensive it really really isn't i know people say that but it isn't, you can really do it on a budget if you need to. All right, so let me get the free stuff away, anything else packed away, and I need to go shopping. I'll catch you later, bye. Hiya, I'm back from the butchers. Now before I show you what I bought at the butchers, let me show you what I was greeted with. Now our butchers is inside a garden centre. That's Lola, I don't know what's up with her. It's inside a garden centre, and as I walked in, this is what was in front of me. September and they're already converting the garden centre into a Santa's grotto. I wasn't going to put Christmas music over those videos guys because it's just a little bit too early in the year for that. Everywhere I went around the garden centre they were just changing everything to Christmas ornaments, Christmas cards, Christmas presents, everything. So yeah I quickly shot round to where I wanted to be at the butchers because I'm not quite ready to be in the Christmas spirit just yet and I love Christmas I really do but um, yeah I would prefer to wait till the end of October maybe guys yeah so anyway enough of Christmas let's look at my shopping right okay so um, this shop here actually and I'll tell you what, I, what it cost before I run through it you can see it all there it came to £73.27p okay now, this shop, like I was saying earlier, um, Simworld isn't expensive to have, okay? I just want to point that out. I spent £73 here, but this is going to last us some weeks. We're not going to get through all this next week, I can promise you. Um, bacon, that is a massive pack. Now, that will last us probably a couple of months of um, weekend um, breakfast. And in fact, because they had these or a pound a pack, I bought, it was five for five pound actually, but what's that, a pound a pack. This is gonna last her be a lot longer because I'm gonna be having this while he has that. Because normally I cut this out and then the dogs get this bit, but this will take forever for us to get through. And what I do with everything you see here is I decant it into meal size packets. So I don't take out more than I actually physically need, guys. And that's a really good top tip as well. If you buy in bulk, it's cheaper, but then just make sure you don't waste any of it, which I won't be. Okay, so that's the bacon there. Um, so these were worked out a pound a packet, and there's quite a lot in there, you can see. <clears throat> and then this is a 
1.135 kilo of bacon. So again, a lot of bacon there for five pound that was, I think it was. Uh, yeah, five pound that was, okay. And then husband loves his sausages um, and these um, are a couple of his favorites. So this first one is a pork leek chili sausage and they're huge. I mean, if you look, you only need one of those to go with your, uh, your cook breakfast. And there's about six in each of these um, packets. And then another one of his favourite is the pork and apple sausage. And again, there's about six in there. So that will work out to those two there will do six weeks worth of breakfast for him. So again, they were two for five pound. Not massive expensive. They're more expensive than the cheap ones you buy in the supermarket, but they are really tasty. And as I said, you only need one sausage um, per breakfast because they are so big. <clears throat> got these these are whole chickens they've just been squashed a little bit to get into here um, but I'll pop these in the freezer and again um, they're five pound for the two and each one will probably do us probably two to three meals because we'll do the breast and then the legs will be a different meal um, and then if there's anything left over we can make I don't know a casserole with it or soup or put it into sandwiches and things like that so these are really good so I'll take these out and put them into individual bags to take out um, I forgot to get Hubby's, Hubby's milk on the Tesco shop, so I got this. Now, it's more expensive than the supermarket. It was £1.29 for um, one litre, but this goes straight to the farmer. So I really don't mind actually paying a little bit more if it goes to the farmer rather than supermarket. Um, and it's usually a little bit fresher, I find. So, yeah, so that's fair. Um, Mince meat, again, here, it's £5 for uh, 500 grams. <clears throat> and then I will decant that into the sizes I need. Pork, five pound for two, four, six, seven, eight, eight slices there. So even if we were having a chop each, then you're talking, you know, four meals. So for five pound, okay guys. The um, chicken drumsticks, stop chicken drumsticks, chicken thighs with the skin removed. And there's almost a kilo here of this. And again, for fiver. So, you know, you've got two, four, six, eight again in there so really good value and again it's all fresh and it's all from the butchers and all from the farm so and i know where it's come from and then this i think is the biggest bargain you can get cheap um, chicken breasts from the supermarket and with all this meat but i find when you cook it a lot of water comes off them these are absolutely amazing and look at the size of those breasts they are huge i mean that's my finger right can you put my finger there? There you go. Look how big that is. And I've got in there one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, probably about 10 chicken breasts in there for 10 99 So again, a lot of meals will come off that. Beef stew and steak. Um, that again was 5 99 And um, weight-wise, just under a kilo. So not bad. And it's very lean. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. And this was a bargain. Um, they did this bargain, this bargain, this deal um, recently, and I stopped the freezer up. These are rump steaks, and they're ten pound for two normally. But look at the size of those. I mean, this is my litre, okay, milk. Okay, we all know what a litre of milk looks like. Look at the size and compared to that. Okay, and if you bought three packs, they were twenty quid. So I have three packs because you know we like bright. And yes, the weather's changing, guys. But I live in hope. That we can still get the sneaky um, bry out occasionally as well before the uh, the winter comes in so that is my meat shop now <clears throat> what i am going to do so my voice keeps going today is for example um the pork goulash that i mentioned i want to do here now looking at the recipe i need 450 grams if you can see that because there's lights on it 450 grams worth of the pork tenderloin so i'm going to make up 225 grams of pork chops into a little bag and i'm going to put a little label on it and put it in the freezer so when it comes to goulash day all hubby needs to do is make sure he takes the right packet out and then prepare the rest of the vegetables for dinner for me okay guys so i have now split everything up and you will see that i've got my chicken breasts here um, I've got two pork chops there, and then what I've done is I've weighed the pork chops out ready for the recipes, um, just so that I know what the weight is. So these are part pork chops in places, but these are two full pork chops, so we can have pork chop dinner. Um, 
I then, um, there was some little bits of the chicken breast here, which I collected, and I've now got some chicken pieces, so I've just weighed those, so I know what those are, so if I want to do chicken curry or something different, then <clears throat> I've already got chicken pieces there. Um, I always keep a single chicken breast, so these are doubles, that's a single, because Hubby likes his lamb, so if he has lamb one day, I know there's a single one there. And then I've marked up my thighs, not my breasts. And the only reason I've done that is because obviously I know what the thighs are in the freezer, but sometimes you mistake thighs for breast. So I just mark them up so I know the difference when I get them out of the freezer. Obviously the sausages are in bags of twos, and I mean, just look, they're just huge, aren't they? So <clears throat> I set these out on Friday night and they do Saturday and Sunday um, breakfast. The beef, again, I weighed out for the um, ingredients I want for the recipes. Um, that was slightly bigger. And then there's a little smaller one there, just so that if I needed to add an extra bit of beef uh, if my set daughter comes, then I can do. Um, mince I've weighed out again to my recipes, and there was a little bit left over. So I've kept it and I weighed it out because actually that might make just one burger, if I'm on my own or if I'm on my own, or you know, just one burger. You don't need to take a whole packet out, you can just <clears throat> take out what you need so nothing gets wasted. Um, with the steaks, they're all individual steaks, um, so I've got six there, but there was also a little bit of a beef steak left in two packets like that. So I've just weighed it and it comes to 167 grams. So if I wanted to, I could add those two together and um, make a dish if I need, say, 250 grams worth of beef. If not, there's a little mini steak if I want a steak on my own one day steak and chips or something so yeah that's there um, my medallions loads bacon so each pack will be a weekend pack so there's four slices in each there's six in that one so if my stepdaughter comes then there's extra um so i don't need to split more packs and then with my chicken now here you can say what a waste of plastic and i get that and i am trying to find plastic containers I can reuse that are small enough to go in the freezer without taking up too much space. But when it comes to big things like this, um, I do reuse these um, packets um, from Tesco. So um, I just wash them out afterwards and dry them and then put them in the cupboard. So these are reused, I promise. Um, so yes, yeah, so there's my two chickens. So 73 pound, well say 72 pound um, to take off the um, milk. I have got quite a few weeks worth of meals there, guys. So, you know, I know I keep saying it, Slimming World is not expensive if you do it right. So, there we go. So it's just a little tip, guys, um, to help you, um, one, plan your meals, and two, not to have waste and make the most of your weekly shop. As I said, this is £73 worth of food, including the milk. We are not going to get through this meat um, this month. This will be a month's worth of meat. Um, probably, well, the sausages and bacon definitely will go into next month. Um, and probably some of the chicken breasts, maybe, I don't know. But we, I don't go to, to the butchers um, more than once a month, really, unless we've got people staying with us. So, yes, it sounds like a big shop initially, but as long as you pack it up right and you don't waste it and you freeze it and you label it and you use it in rotation, you're gonna be absolutely fine. I know that my freezer has got nothing in there except for lamb at the moment, because we bought half a lamb recently. So that's all in one of the drawers in the freezer. So this will be my new stock in my freezer because I do try and run it down and then get fresh in. Okay, guys? So I hope you like that. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. You do, just click this button here, guys. Click. And um, notifications, because you wanna know what I do with my shopping and what it comes out like. And then you also need to give me a thumbs up if you like it. Well, if you don't, you don't have to, but hi guys, I prefer you to give me a thumbs up. But don't forget to subscribe guys, because 70% of the people who actually come onto my channel don't subscribe to me. So it's a shame, because you're gonna miss out on notifications. And so don't forget this afternoon, I'm doing my Mediterranean egg muffins. And then if I get a chance um, this week, I will do um, some Chinese pork pies. I may not because time's running away with me a little bit today. So time I've packed this way and I've done some other things. But if I can, I will. So again, guys, I don't know when I'm going to get that out to you because I just don't know what time I'm going to have. And when I do, you seriously need to know about it. So subscribe, notifications, 
Okay guys, have a superb Sunday and I will speak to you soon. Take care, bye.